thing don't want to record right. I think so. Alright, guys. Guys and gals. Oh, that's a little better pig than I thought. He's probably like a hundred and... hundred and something. Yeah, son. You pretty nice old boy. Maybe the one that was running the mother's out the other night. Yeah, that's a... That's a lot nicer pig than what I thought he was. I was thinking like 70 pounds. That thing's pretty nice. He's at least double that. It's hard to tell sometimes when they're by themselves. And, uh... I mean, there's that baby one in there with him, but still... It's just hard to tell sometimes. I got too close to that tree. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm going to put this trap out. I need to pull it forward a little. But there's a hole right there. That he's got where he used to have his feeder. And it's good at holding that corn in there. So that's why I put it there. Alright. I'm going to back up against it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, I think that little guy will go right in there. That's the little one that uh, was probably had escaped the other night. That escaped from Alcatraz. Yeah, that one there, he's a lot better pig than I thought. It may, it may just be like 130s maybe, something like that. He's definitely a better pig than what I thought, aren't you, son? I guess it's a boy. He may be a girl. I don't know. Kind of got a nose like a sow. Are you a female or a male? You're mean. I believe it is a sow. Oh, watch out, baby. Yeah, it's a sow, but she is mean and she is mad. You mad, ain't you, baby? If I can get my hand in there or not. Hey, come over here. Let me get my hand in there. Ooh, you about bit my glove off. She gonna make me jerk my hand out of there. Hey. Come on, get out of there. I gotta get that open. Go to the other side. You probably won't even come over here now. Yeah, these old sows, man, some of them are mean. Hey, baby, come on. Shh, get over. Get over. I'm going to need to stick my hand in there. That's a little sow bear, too. Two little sows. Didn't get my. No, she's going to. She's going to nab me here in a minute. Hey, shh, get out of there. Come on. Get over. Come on. Get back. Get back so I can get my hand in here. Yeah, you old sucker. Come on. Probably should have undone that before I done this right here. Alright. Who that's dangerous. Them old suckers. Get you in the main artery or something, and you'd be hurt and around. All right, let's see if she'll go. There's my buddy's camera. I seen it taking pictures earlier, so. Oop, come on. Come on, get on over. Get on over, baby. That's that's a nice sow right there. There's nothing wrong with that sow. She is a good looking old pig. There you go. You gonna need a little encouragement, girl? It's like, well, did I have it pulled up? I knew it did. Here we go. Alright, baby. Go to the other side. Come on. Well, she's a 
chomping them old teeth, ain't she? There you go, baby, right up in there. Go up in there with it, buddy. There you go. Woo, yeah, thank you, Lord. Look you there. All right, let's, uh, ah, shucks, I pulled the plum out of there, didn't I? That's all right, I'll get it back in here. Let's see, let's go down just one right there. That way I can put it back in there. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pretty easy loading. What do you think, babe? Huh? You get to have a whole new home tomorrow. We get to have a new home tonight, but you get to have your little freedom tomorrow for a little while. For a little while. Rejoin you with some family. I still am not convinced that that's all the pigs here. Now he said that uh, that's about all that was coming to this camera, he thought. Now he's been watching it for a long time, so. I mean, you gotta pay attention to the guys that have been watching this stuff. Okay, let me pull up. We got that latched. All right. Make sure that's just this camera going off. Oh wow, 12, okay. Okay, that's just, just this camera. Okay, let's get this baby reset. And just watch how this, this goes pretty quick, guys. Goes pretty quick. Let's see. Let me get this back in here. And this uh, dealy. Yeah, come on now. It was gonna be quick. What's well, not working here? I'm not raising it up high enough. You know what the deal is? All right, now we're in there. We'll just throw some there in the middle. These darn guys have got pretty scattered out there. We'll get this thing reset and get out of here. Yeah, I guess should be enough. They didn't really eat very much. I don't think they really ate very much. Well, maybe we can move this one pretty soon so he can get back to getting his deer pulled in here. And I probably shared with y'all a hundred times, but be sure and latch your gate because they will flip this up. The place I'm trapping on over there where, where I've caught is it 23? 23 or 30? I don't remember. 23, I think. Anyway, I had a big boar. I think he was like a 270, 280 or something like that. And uh, I caught him one night and he flipped that door up and run out. And a uh, night or two later, there was a little hamp in there. I was going to show my father in law how my camera worked. And so I tripped him just to trip it, and we was gonna go get him. And the next camera I got was that big boy. I guess he had just pushed that one out, and I caught him. <laughs> that was pretty cool. But I had my gate latch that time. Yep. I was watching old, uh, y'all watch Muddy Feet Hog Trapping, Muddy Feet TV, I think is what it's called. Uh, I think he does uh, cement pouring and then uh, hog trapping and uh, he's got a pretty tall trap one of those great big round traps and uh, he's had a boar I think he said it that has jumped out of that trap three times now now he may have put up a just gave him a box trap or something with a top on it 
because uh, my opinion, this is just strictly my opinion, but once they realize they can get out of one, they have no trouble going back in one. Does that make sense? Because they've trained themselves to know they can get out. So they ain't worried about it. Let's see. Keep wanting to go to my camera like it's a flashlight on my head. Okay, let's see. This kind of camera you see, so I'm just having to feel the notch on that trigger. All right, guys, that's a pretty quick little loading. I think that'll work. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some bigger pigs here. Because my place is just... It's just... Uh, uh, mile and a half. Mile, mile to mile and a half straight east. And uh, I've had some pretty nice hogs on my camera. And uh, I mean, we're just right here at town and just right there uh, right here north of us about a mile is our co-op and not north south of us a mile so uh, yeah they come up there and eat uh, wheat where they load the trucks you can set the gas station across the street and watch them uh, and they'll have that whole pad covered up and now, now I haven't seen them that many here lately But there would be like 40 covering it up. So I know There is the potential to be a lot more hogs right here But he's pretty sure he thinks that that's all that's coming is uh, Pretty much this group that we just caught uh, The last couple nights yeah, I see my camera too is when it's going off. So I just clear all them out. I shouldn't get any more notifications from it unless something gets in there. There's been a raccoon in there all night. Let's check. Uh, camera one will be the one way over east. Hope y'all can see this thing. I have trouble sometimes getting my camera lined up. Okay, nothing yet. I set up my third camera. My uh, There's a feeder right there. I should have cut these weeds down, but this is kind of somebody else's hunting spot, so I didn't really want to mess with it. And my trap is sitting right over here to the right. So I was trying to see if they're coming to this feeder first and hanging up before they go to my trap. But there should be a great big boar. I say great big, he's probably gonna be 200. Uh, the spotted a little hamp that was running around there the other morning when we caught those what five or whatever he was still outside and then last night there was four little ones with that big board come in there and I should have trapped them I was tired and I fell asleep so we'll try to get him tonight because we're going to try to haul a load off in the morning so that's it let's see if uh, this camera is uh if I got it angled back where I want it, we'll kind of ease out of this wheat field and get away from here. Uh, I have a thermal scope and uh, okay, nothing. I mean, that looks good. See, I can see, I can see pretty much all the bottom edge of my trap and that's what I want to see because I, I want to make sure these are the sides that they walk in. Sometimes they'll come under the ends, most time the side. And uh, this way I can tell if there's anything laying underneath it or not quite all the way in a trap. And once I catch a few where I know there's a bunch, I'll start lowering my trap where they have to kind of duck underneath it. I don't know if y'all can see my hand moving, but where they have to duck underneath it. And then you can make, you can tell for sure, because when they stand back up, you know they're inside the trap. I mean, you can tell really, but sometimes, uh, it's an optical illusion the way that trap is you might still hit them on the rear end and uh, But this way, you know anyway guys uh, Maybe we'll get that big boy over at Comanche Tonight or it's way on their side of there actually 
and uh, see what happens. Appreciate you guys. I'm gonna go home and try to get some rest. It's hard to get rest when you listen to your phone.